Hello everyone, welcome back with our space video. Today we're back on Stellaris PS, one of the coolest custom servers out there. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to continue our lovely grind today. Very excited, we're going back to the Scratch account. We're going to go ahead, get some really nice games out of the way. First things first, I think it's going to be 50 Halloween boxes, limited time only for a little bit more time. All you have to do for that one is like the video, comment your name down below, and be subscribed to my channel. If you guys have a check with Stellar, make sure to do some links right down below. Our massive update has been released very recently, which is super hype. So I make sure to be joining the fun with the links down below, and I would say, let's get right into the video. Alrighty, here we are on the Scratch account. Last episode, we've managed to get the pumpkin boots. That's the Halloween item, limited time right here. The account is looking very, very good. We're gonna continue grinding the present today because that's the most important thing to do. So you might ask what the present is. It's the Galactic Prison. After we complete all the zones, we can go ahead and start grinding this bad boy right here. Three rooms in total. We're going to get a very, very OP pet from it. And um, yeah, we definitely need to get the KC out of the way. A two times KC pet also works in there, which is super freaking nice. As we can see, there's actually so many other people in there already. That is absolute freaking nuts. So we're going to go into this room right here. But there's also Prison 2, 3, etc. In case they're all packed right here. And, uh, yeah, let's get right into the grind right here. Two times KC pet works on all custom pets on the Stella, which is very nice. And we're gonna go ahead and check out really quick uh, the KC of these bad boys right here. Because we need in total, I think, 25,000 to be able to go into the next frame. We've got 38,000 already, which means we should be able to go into the second frame, actually. So we need actually 50k for the first frame. So we need another 12k right here, which is actually not too bad. We've got a very strong stuff right here. Um, one cool thing actually is when you guys gonna start grinding zones and everything, all the items you guys will be getting, you can either go ahead and salvage them, control S, and you can now salvage also all the items in the bank, which is such a nice feature. And salvage tokens are very important for a bunch of upgrades that you guys will see along the way, especially in the PAP. And you also can get 100% free drop rate as well through the column column salvage interface. But most importantly, what I'm trying to grind for right now is the 1.75 booster, which you guys can find under the miscellany tab right here, right in there, with which requires 50,000 salvage tokens, 150 OP crystals, cash, and the other two boosters. So that's the next big upgrade we're aiming for. It's going to take me a bit of time to grind it, but it's actually a good fun. Let's freaking go. And also all the other items and pieces you guys will be grinding because there are a lot of different gear pieces you can sell into the tank spec shop right here. That's a sort of like a merchant shop where you guys will be able to sell items into and you're going to get literally free monies right there so junking and salvaging all the junk items you don't need is definitely the best thing you guys can go ahead and do all right let's keep following those bad boys here so one thing that does not work in the prison is the aggro pot uh so what you guys want to do is try to balance the spawns of the npcs front here so when you have like too much damage like i do then you're gonna go ahead and watch everything and you will not be able to off them that's why we're gonna be using a less op or for example the golden one to kill a couple and the other ones be half HP, then equip the dragon one. So we're gonna have different spawns. You see, these ones just spawn and the other ones just dying as well at the same time. So right, this is a perfect balance right here in case you want to go ahead and have a little AFK trick you guys can go out and use. But again, you can off only up to 30 minutes. After that, you're gonna be teleported back to the home area. 40,000 KC exactly, bro. How the fuck did we open it on this perfect number right here? 10,000 to guy. This was actually freaking clutch. We've opened exactly at 40k. I love it. All right, let's keep going. In case you don't want to see all the messages right here, call come drop message to remove that one right here. And uh, there's a lot of quality of life stuff you guys will be able to see right here. Oh, I just got a $10 bot. Nice. That's another cool thing about Zelda. They're so free to play. You can get so many freaking bonds while grinding the game. It's actually absolute freaking insane. Also, uh, you guys will be able to get yourself some Halloween candy while the Halloween event is still going on. As you can see, I've just got 37k right here. Fucking love it. And you guys will be able to purchase a bunch of different things from the shop, which are very, very OP, actually. So, if you guys got some candies, make sure to use them on these lovely items. So, we've actually collected six already. That's $60 in bonds for right here. Easy fucking peasy. No $5 bonds, but overall, you guys will get so many different bonds on uh, on sellers. Actually, crazy. A bunch of $1 bonds as well. And we'll go and claim all of them back, which are right here in the account. And you'll say... We had $5,700 already, literally, by playing for free. Love it. Almost 45k KC. I love it. Let's keep going. And I hope we're going to get a lot of OP crystals. Because if I remember correctly, for the 1.75 booster, we need 150 of those. Which I actually have already in the inventory. I just realized I'm a fucking moron. So what I'm missing is a lot of salvage tokens. But I think we will be able to purchase them as well. We have a little bit of money left over here. Maybe we'll be able to get it later on. Let's go. Alrighty, the vote boss just came up as well. Let's go ahead and kill this bad boy. And holy shit, that was actually... I was there last minute. I've got a bunch. Nice. And also ancient global tokens, which I think are... Is a custom shop right here where you will be able to buy a bunch of lovely items as well. 
So, not bad. Alrighty, boys, we have completed 50,000 kills, and I'm so freaking happy. Which means we can go into room 2, which we're going to start grinding right now as well. And we've also got ourselves the reward of the first room, which is the God's Blessing. So, this right here is a scroll that's going to be unlocking our custom prayer. We're going to go ahead and probably unlock the mage damage, the magic zip. We've already unlocked the melee one to go out and grind the zones a bit quicker. We can obviously go and sell it as well to make some money. Probably around 200 something million, maybe 300. And we can also get the lovely um, Luxib. But I'm going to go for the Mage one right now. After we unlock all of these bad boys right here, we will need another three scrolls to unlock the Spirit Lifter, which is the best and slot uh, prayer, which is combining all the previous facts together, which is absolutely freaking amazing, boys. And we can enter our room two, the Galactic NPCs too. Which are dropping, I think, similar stuff, just a bit more often, I think. And that is very exciting. The second room is going to drop us the Stella, uh, this bad boy, the Diamond. Which is going to be the Galactic Diamond, which is best in slot diamond in game. So you guys get the day. The prison is very, very OP. And room 3 is going to drop us the lovely Pegasus pat, which is best in slot pat. Second best in slot, after the Cosmic one, I believe. Which you guys can find right here. And this right here is the one we're going to get for free. And that's the best slot one, the Blood Pegasus pat, which requires the Blood Shenron pat. Which I'm also going to start working on, honestly, soonish. Because that's very OP. That requires the Shenron one, which requires the Yugi Moto, which you get from Raids 1. So there's lots of different cons you guys want to grind in Stella, which is very, very exciting. And then we're going to get the best in slot Blood Pegasus pat right here. So, room 2 right now, right here, I think they're going to be pretty easily to be killed as well. A little bit more HP, maybe. But overall, the loot is going to be absolute freaking amazing. We've also found 73k lovely Halloween candies right here. We're going to go ahead and, of course, YOLO it on the Halloween basket. I've got lucky and I've pulled the freaking boots. I, we're definitely going to go ahead and YOLO it as well on this one right here. I'm not sure what we're getting, but we didn't get anything too crazy, which is a bit unfortunate. But I guess it is. Oh my god, I've got a pumpkin helmet. I don't fucking know how that happened. Oh my god, I actually got a pumpkin helmet. No fucking shot. That is actually not an upgrade because we already have the owner one. But that's actually super nice. That's another freaking Halloween item out of the way. The second one. And this the cool thing is this is going to be limited time items only. So I'm going to be able to sell them in the future for a really good amount of money as well. So I, we definitely keeping it. And I'm so glad we've got a spoon once again. Since we're lucky, let's go ahead and spin also this bad boy right here. Let's see what we're going to be getting. Come on. Uh, no, unfortunately not. But as you can see, that some of the box been reworked right here. Which is very, very nice. And yeah, you guys will not be able to get some really cool stuff from it. And this one example right here is also giving us the lovely uh, shadow... Uh, sorry, the shadow weapons and the own attached. So definitely want to go out and check this out as well. And do like a big opening maybe in the next video. But overall, there's so much stuff you guys will be able to do. So I definitely make sure to check out Stella with the links down below. I have a lot of fun grinding it. There is so much you guys will be able to do. And um, yeah... Don't forget to enter the giveaway. I'm going to go back to the prison now, continuing running the room. And I'll be seeing you guys online. Don't forget to enter the giveaway by smashing the like button, commenting, giving your memes down below, and be subscribed to my channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you online. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good one and peace out.